That's a half inch thick. Well, this is maybe five eighths. Uh, five eighths, yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, tongue is five eighths thick, and the rest of the side rails are a quarter inch. Can I? For sure, yeah. They've got it. Uh, they've got a piece of um, hex piping that, that protects it through there. I wanted to look at these anodes, mm -hmm. so I can get these anywhere. You can. You can get them at most hardware places. Um, I would order them online just because uh, they just screw in and out. Well, they're actually riveted in. Oh, but, they are. But you can pop those rivets out, and then um, if you wanted to replace them with a stainless uh, self-tapper, you can do that. Or if you wanted to re rivet if you had a rivet gun, I, I would suggest just re riveting. Yeah, but, yeah. but if you do know, um, and I assume you, you've researched and everything with the anodes, they're there to protect any type of galvanic reaction um, with, the with the two dissimilar metals the galvanized steel and the aircraft grade aluminum here. I think this is probably the best suspension, at least in our class, because we went with the simple design of the leaf spring suspension instead of the torsion suspension. Uh, we did. Um, the standard feature here um, that we've been offering for the last couple of years, before that it was an option, but it was so popular, we decided to make it standard, and that's the Dexter Axle Easy Flex. Uh, that equalizer is going to reduce your road shock by up to about 80%. That's correct. You've got, if you notice, you've got seven uh, through, through bolts, uh, carriage bolts, yep. that are um, holding that subframe to the frame all the way down on both sides. And I love the frame. The frame is a work of art, I can tell you. It's, uh, it's, it's a wonder that there aren't other manufacturers doing this yet. And I, I assume that pretty soon they will I can't this. imagine <laughs> why. why. I, mean, I I guess they've been doing it this way forever, but yeah. why Airstream would take an aluminum double hull and put it on a steel frame with a wood deck? Wooden floor, yeah. <laughs> seems, Never. Like, seems like a lot of uh, Makes sense to me. potential hazards, yeah. I'm not sure why other manufacturers are doing things the way they continue to do it, but we just, we wanted to set ourselves apart, yeah. even from the very beginning, and, and as, as, you know, people that aren't familiar with the travel trailer lifestyle, the RV lifestyle in general, they may not think that the steps are that big a deal, but for something that's traversed daily while you have, you know, for the life of the unit, the steps seem to always be the first thing to fail in this industry. Oh, okay. So, with us, uh, we decided we were going to do our own design and, and, and make it a part of the manufacturing process when it came to building the frame. So, you can see this wonderfully designed, easy to operate uh, step here, and, I mean, feel free to jump up and down on that thing. It's that thing is just very sturdy. It's got the right amount of spring to it, um, and it's, like you said, you, you don't have to worry about that thing breaking on you. When this is complete, it'll have a brushed aluminum. Any of the aluminum that's exposed will be brushed, and it'll have a, a gator grip type uh, non slip strip on it. So then there's another thing you guys got right in that, I think, was this the, the uh, ground clearance. Yeah, the clearance, because the thing I couldn't, I, I know why Airstream is low. It's a, they want it designed that way because if the whole idea was to be on macadam all the time. Right. But I want to be able to pull the thing into a little more, oh, sure. a little more tougher area and yeah. not worry about bottom. Yeah, well, when you look on the bottom of an Airstream, Sometimes there's only like that much sure. between the ground and like some tube that's sticking like a, out. Like a, like a waste drain tube. Yeah, but this is the template in which the frames are built. So um, in the name of being ergonomic and, and making sure that our welders are not ever going to be in a, a position where it's hard to get a, a, a nice weld done, yeah. we've done something where you can do, you know, this template 
can flip over and do the elite on one side, the elite two on the other. Hit, right they can height. do an eye level, waist level, um, you know, anything that we can do to make their job easier because TIG welding is obviously not the easiest type of welding to do, you know, so this is something that um, there's the a lot riding good. on the welds, yeah. They do. We've got some excellent welders here, I mean, they really do.